Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by, and of course, you got here just in time. <laughs> That's right, just in time, because it's Friday, and it's time for another edition of Friday's Fine. Got five packages to open this go-round. We're going to kick it off by going inside and letting Yappy open the first one. So let's go inside. Before we get into all this stuff on this edition of Friday's Finds, say howdy. Post a comment down there. Say howdy. Tell me what you like about Friday's Finds. All right, let's go check out some stuff. Tell us about what you received today, Yappy. I am so excited. I've got a new helmet from MTS, Mountain Talk Bike Helmet. And it is CPSC safety certified. It's a retro style, wait till you see it. Lightweight in mold for youth and adults. It has Comfort 360 pads and effective cooling vents in the helmet. I am truly excited about that. And it has a rear magnetic light. Let's check it out. And it's purple. Look at this. This is awesome. Isn't this cool, dude? Look at it this. Is, it is styling and profiling. Let's see here. And, okay, here's the light. It's magnetic, so it sticks on the back. So at night, you can... Here, you open. Okay. You play with the helmet, I'll open the box. Let's see here. Oh, wow. Let's see what it does. Let's see if it fits. Oh, yeah. It fits good. How's that look? Yeah, it fits good. good. What are these? And it, it is adjustable. Those are the pads that go inside. There's pads for inside, so you can make it more comfy. I love this. Oh, yeah. So Stick the magnet on me. That just mounts right there like that. Did you turn it on? Yep. Am I, am I you're shining? Flash, you're flashing. I'm flashing? So let's, let's take that off and show them. This is an adjustable helmet. Oh, so you can nice. turn oh, that and tighten it up or loosen it down. And then I, if I you still need these. a little more pads, these pads actually will stick with Velcro inside the helmet. I like this. This is cool. Lightweight. This is really comfortable. Um, I've got another one, but this is way more comfortable than that. This is just lightweight. The other one's kind of bulky, but it's just because I had to have one on the spur of the moment. This is rocking. This, this is a quality helmet. This is a I'm nice helmet. Impressive. I really like this. Well, now, now we need to get some footage of you riding your bike. So we were gonna, we're going to go take it for a spin here in a little bit. So we'll see you soon. Thank you, MTS. So she says it's too cold to go riding right now. Since she's actually working and it is still kind of chilly, we got some boxes to, un to open up right here. And we're going to start with this. We'll just start right here. We'll start right where we are. Vivor, tough tools, half price. They have returned. Let's see what we've got in this box. I, I actually kind of have a clue, but where's the fun in that? It appears that there is some assembly required. Windy, windy. Okay. We got, we got gloves and ah, there's there it is. So this is the raised garden bed. It's actually it'll be interesting to see it assembled. But it's oh, there's the black and white picture. It's a cart for gardening. And Yappy's been going on and on about wanting to be able to grow her own vegetables. So, some assembly required. Let me put it together and we'll revisit this one. Meanwhile, I got some more boxes for us to open. I got a long one, also from Vivor. Tough tools, half price. I think we're just going to open this seam up right here. You can watch me while I'm figuring out the formula. Got 
got it. Success! <laughs> now, if you're contemplating a van build, this is going to be of interest to you. No hardware. Hardware is inside. So, this is a van or a small RV awning or a truck awning. So, some assembly required. So let me figure out where I'm gonna put it and how we're gonna put it, and then I'll show it to you. Meanwhile, we got another big box over there. Hold on. You're gonna like this one. I'm excited about it. I like long boxes. They usually have fun stuff in them. Almost lost it. That was convenient. All right. This one doesn't require assembly, but it does require setup. So let me go set it up and then we'll take a look at it. Need some steaks. I figured out exactly one <clears throat> one thing you, you want to remember if you're doing it by yourself make sure you put a couple stakes in the ground so that you got some leverage when you're pushing up that's big enough to go around a campsite picnic table plenty of room in here you could even use this as a tent of course you need to put down a, a tarp I really like that they have the the walls can be tucked in or actually pushed out either way probably pushed out keeps the wind from getting underneath it the panels are fantastic they're easy to go on and you can roll them up they have velcro here they have loops here at the top so you can roll those up and that's a, that's a lot of covered space that packs away nice and tight and once you get it anchored it doesn't seem to want to go anywhere <laughs> that's pretty darn co that's cool if you ask me now, I've, I've looked at several other models of these, but they were always us out of my budget. This one's not. You'll like it. I know I do. All right. I got to go put some stuff together. I'll be back. 
So yeah, Yappy just saw the Vivor screen room and she was so excited. She said, I think the puppies can hang out in there. I think she's right. So the planter cart is assembled. Pay attention to your instructions because your wheel leg goes on the same end as your hook panel. And make sure you put your axle in when you're assembling. Because if you don't, you'll have to do what I did, and which is take off one whole corner so you can... I didn't pay much attention. I just went at it. We have our soil box in here. The handle so you can move it. Now I did find the the you the in you I found the gardening utensils to be very interesting. It's like scale gardening. Gardening for little hands. Uh, we do have markers to mark your plants. And that's a lot of markers. So apparently you can grow a lot of plants in that. But that is that is cool. I like that. I like it a whole lot because if you're in an apartment or a, a small garden home, you've got a place to grow some, to, to do a little gardening. A little gardening. And in our case, we can move it when we go. We can take it with us. Yeah, she's really excited when she saw that. She said, I, I can grow arugula now. Yes, dear, you can. Right, better you than me. <laughs> All right, we got, I got to figure out what, how I'm going to display this awning. Maybe tomorrow, because the wind is really picked up. Stay tuned. We also got to go riding a bike. Yappy, what do you think of these new Vivor products they sent us? The, I'm really enamored with this screen shelter. What are, what are your this thoughts? Is cool. Let me look. Took me about five minutes to set it up without even knowing how to set it up. This is one of the sturdiest I've ever seen that you've that you've tested some of these out. This is amazing. I love how you can open it up or close it up for privacy. That's or, nice. Or if the cold the wind, wind is I mean, blowing, yeah, we wind. can secure that down. It'll get keep... out of the rain. If you want to eat on your picnic table and not be, you know, rained on, but you want the shelter. Yep. And boy, this will be great for the heat. Shelter you from the heat and skeeters. And this is the medium sized one. They uh -huh. have one that's larger, but this is still large this enough is... to wrap around a picnic yeah, table. This is great. We'll be using this every trip pretty much. I can already tell you. This is awesome. That means I got to set it up. Glad it's easy it to set it up. five minutes. All right, this is great. We got, we got Thank something you. else. They, they sent something else for you out that you're going to like is, out here. I love this. So you've been talking about wanting to get into gardening. Well, this, you two, remember, you used to help me do it, but you did most of it. Uh, yeah, that was a, we're going to go gardening, and it was me you doing gardening. gardening. <laughs> My idea, you do, I delegated. Anyway, this is neat. It's standing. So you can actually put your garden here. You don't have to bend over. And then when you need to move it, you just get up and move it. Now, if you're not gonna, you know, build a farm in this, but it comes with gloves, sticks, and where you put, put things in. And even micro scale gardening implements. Well, because it's smaller, you know, put your seeds and everything, sure. but little tools. And it's got the base. This is awesome. I gotta get some more of these for the land. A, a couple wow. of those on the this patio. Is, this would get your parsley, your cilantro, your herbs, your uh, arugula. tomatoes, arugula. Uh, yes, this is awesome. Thank you, Vivor. This is great. And it, this is, I mean, this thing is, look. But it's sturdy enough that it's not going anywhere. Like I'm, you know, so you just fill it up and go. I love this. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. And you got a place to store stuff there. Get it started. Things that don't want, that need shade. This is awesome. This is a win. Awesome. As soon as it warms up, which would be tomorrow, right. we'll go get on the e-bike and check out that helmet. Cool. All right. See you tomorrow. Bye.
Keep in mind, this is temporary just for this video, but I, I've got the, the little awning is, is attached to the car. I did a whole temporary setup there just for the display. Eventually, this will be attached to the side of a custom built van. But for now, that's a nice little awning. You can change the pitch, so if you got rain coming, you can lower that down. If you don't want it quite so far out, you can bring it in to right here. Just give you a little sunshade. It's very, very easy. Operation is real simple. These arms actually fold into this slot. And then these legs fold into this slot and it rolls up and you're done. That's a heck of a deal right there. I better not let her see it. She might want me to permanently affix it to the side of the car. <laughs> I like that though. Vivor Tough Tools, half price. And when you're not using it, it stows away in its waterproof carry storage bag. I just wanted to let you have a look at it while it's kind of, while it's mounted and stowed. And ideally, you would have that a little farther, a little closer in. There's three notches. Their installation, they provide some hardware for installation and some pretty good ideas on how to do it. Uh, but ultimately, you're really going to have to know what you're doing with it to properly install it for your application. But it's pretty universal. Even, even Yappy said, well, that's, that's not too difficult. So if she says that, it must be true. What do you think about that helmet? Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so comfortable and it, it, it's fit really well and I'm excited to ride. It's, it's fitting really well? Yes. Better yep. than the other one? Yeah. You sure you don't want to go back to the other one? No, I want to keep this one and I like the color. You like the color. I All like right. the color. All right, bye y'all. You heard it from the boss. It's a great helmet. I'm excited. Thank you. Well, she rode off into the sunset and my battery died. <laughs> I guess time for new batteries. But anyway, she's going around the block and I gotta go edit this video. I gotta, I gotta shut it down. Post a comment down there. Tell me which one of these products you thought was the better of the four and what you liked about them. These products are available on Amazon. I'll provide you with a link in the card and in the description. You gotta click that little more button down there to see what's in the description. That link will take you to the Friday's Finds shopping list on the Dude RV Gear Recommendations Amazon page. Your business is most appreciated. If you've found some value, click on the thumbs up and share us on your social media. That sure helps with that dang algorithm thing. And if you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. That too really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am truly grateful that you you take some of your the you take some time out of your day to spend with me watching my videos. That really means a lot to me. And I mean that when I say that. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. I appreciate you and my patrons. I cannot express my gratitude enough. I am so grateful for your generosity. Thank you. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?